evening all. Sunday evening now. Time just ticking, right? Right, I'm going to do a little review on uh, eye protection. These are very old spy microscopes. The uh, the arm on this side broke, so it's it's not foldable like so. I uh, I don't know what happened. I don't know if I sat on them or whatever, but I ended up putting um, inserting a little piece of wire on the side here with some sticks or rubber sealant. Um, there's another video I do about the sticks or very good uh, repair sealant. You should get yourself some. It's much better than normal silicon. It sets really hard like rubber, so that's what I put in there to fix those. <clears throat> Obviously, I can't fold these up and put them in a case now. They just use them now and again for chucking on for walking or whatever. I think I paid 80 quid at the time, more like um, $100 I got them in the States, but yeah, they're thrashed, they're like scratched to hell, um, they served a purpose for a while, I've, I've had other shades, I've lost, I've broke, those are my only like, you know, high-end ones I've got left, because now I invest in, uh, in these for just cycling, for eye protection, they're just uh, protective eyewear lenses, they're all like, they've got UV lenses on them and stuff, anti-shatter, these are uh, like a Build Pro brand. Pick them up from the local Juicens. You can get them at uh, Tool Station, Screwfix, some tool hire shops, anywhere that sort of sells tools, and that will be selling uh, eye protection. As you can see, these are smoke. Ta da! And uh, they, they, you know, they curve around the head perfectly. They fit underneath a cycling helmet, or even sort of under a hat. You know, they're really tight and low profile, super flexy. They do them in the smoke, the real dark smoke, uh, yellow and uh, clear. I'll show you the clear ones in a minute. But yeah, you got like little widgets on here for, for your nose, little rubber widgets. I usually just push mine out of the way. <coughs> and then you got little grippers on the side as well. But yeah, you know, real flexy and stuff. Look at that, look. And you got obviously, they come with the, obviously come with a little bag to clean them and um, like a neck. You know, so you can hang them from your neck. I never bother with any of that. So there's those. And then for night riding, I got these, the clear ones. Again, this, they're Bill Pro. So it's exactly the same make as those I just showed you. Uh, and the only difference is the uh, the arms curve round a bit more on the on the ends there. So you just got a loop loop over your ear. Um, but I did, you know, they're both ideal. They're both very comfortable. Again, look, both flexible. Um, and definitely a good investment because uh, many a time I've had a stone fly up, hit me in the face. I've lost count of the times, and then you get them hit your leg sometimes, or you get uh, like a stone, you know, fly from a car and chip off your frame, you know. <clears throat> so these are ideal. Obviously, this is a bit uh, foggy or misty. It's not ideal because it just you know bubbles up on there, and you can't really see jack shit really. But I think I paid under ten pounds for these, nine pound fifty or something. So. What can I say? If you lose them, well, or sit on them, or whatever, they think they're going to stand up strength-wise a lot better than the more high-end, expensive shades. So yeah, goodbye. I've actually got two pairs of these and one pair of the clears. I bought them for 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 the night rides I'm starting to do now. Winter coming on, nice to you know keep the cold off your face and that as well. I mean, combined them when it gets really cold with a bad clava and that, you're going to be uh, pretty much covered. Yeah, so go and get you some eye protection, you know. Definitely protect your eyes. You only get one pair. Cheers, y'all.